chocolate making class in Antigua, Guatemala. So it should be very interesting. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff here. It smells absolutely delicious in here. Look at these, look at these fools right here. Already just taking chocolate before we're even eating anything. I don't even think this is the free samples, but they're already snacking. Oh, the video taping is? Hell yeah, from my, from my, from my channel. <laughs> See, look, look at the people you meet here, making chocolate. See, because I'm gonna teach you what chocolate was, what it was changed to, and what has become. But there, before doing anything, I need to know, what do you guys know about chocolate or cacao? What about you? Before Christ, and there is record of consumption, but they only use the white part, yeah. So now the cacao came to Central America. Most scientists agree that animals were sucking on the moon, throw them away to the ruby, or maybe the Mayans were traded with the Incas. We're not too sure, but it got here at about 900 years before Christ, where Mayans and Aztecs in vessels and little paintings leave record of consumption. Porque, according to the Mayans, Quetzalcoatl is gonna reveal the secret to the Mayans and tell the Mayans that this is the food of the gods. See? This Make sure the cacao is ripe. Yellow, red, orange. Never green. We got a smash. And do you see that picture? That's what they look like. They don't want to come here. Because what I got to do, guys, don't be so shy and get a little closer. Because you're going to like what's going to happen. Check it out. Pay attention to your side and to your nose. Mira, check it out. So I'm going to grind. Mira. A little by little. Oof. Beans are going to become creamy, shiny, and pasty. And this is one of the reasons I like to come to work, Mira Chicos. Because that lovely smell mm. reminds me of my grandma as a kid, Mira. But can you see that it's pasty? Yeah. yeah. It's ready. If I collect that, and drop it in hot water or hot milk and I put sugar, I can make you a hot cup of chocolate right now. Simple and easy. But the Mayans and the Aztecs, to make it faster, they put fire right underneath the rock. Oh. And do you see those lines? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It drained. Right underneath, they collected this on vessels and containers. Once I explain you how machines make chocolate like you mold. So this is un comal, ¿sí? un comal. And this, some Mayans, Aztecs, even my grandma as a kid used to do this thing. Un comal. And we still use the comales to make tortillas and feed ourselves. ¿sí? Pero today, guys, roasting cacao, see, ¿sí? uh, is not done by comales. No way. We got humongous cans. We drop thousands of beans and they spin. Two and a half hours, three hours. It goes slow, fast, it goes high heat, medium heat, slow. <laughs> in Antigua, I had a friend, you could buy three in the morning, they go, let's work. Walk it out, they're really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectos. Woo. We can make it. She's a cheater. A <laughs> a las dos y a las tres. Whoever wants a free time, break the game. Vamos, chicos, vamos, vamos. Break and break and break and break and break and Bien. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Where's the oil coming from? The cacao. The cacao beans that we guys broke and I broke too. How much butter is on cacao, guys? 55%. 55%. Well done. The other 45% is the power. If you stress, if you're angry, if you're sad, if you party like a rock star on that wedding, <laughs> wedding drink that many, life is beautiful. Double and you're high like crazy. No es un té. Royals, King, Elites, Priest, honey, yeah. chili. You guys like chili? They go so much. Perfecto, I'm gonna put them. Oh! She's here. <laughs> Thanks a lot, bro. <laughs> but the Mayans are great. And to do that, Priest, Pinus. Uh huh. And they're like, thank you guys. For the secret. But as the Mayans gave it to the Aztecs. They don't get along. They're like, you gotta be kidding me. 
no way I'm gonna do my pee pee and put blood inside the thing. No, for you guys. So they use el achote. El achote? Let me show it to you if you've never seen it. It's a plant that looks like this. One minute I say, ah, it's a dry lychee. No, it's not a dry lychee. It's an achote plant here. Those little beans that you guys see, they can die like you have no idea. So el achote was used to do this. Si los chunks, my ends mix the drink back in fairly high. But why do you think my ends mix the drink really high? So some of the chunks will fall out. No. The higher you go, the mix better. It's like the weight. No. The froth. Froth. Why the my ends one and a froth? That's what cats of Pablo want. Good job. 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 Good job.